Hey guys, this is Dean Andrews Jr. from The Lax. These things are amazing. They take care of me every night. I've used them for 150 shows last year and about to do another 150 this year. Different venues, different rooms, different acoustics, different everything every night. And these things save my day. You know, there's no overtones, there's no you know, excessive ringing. You know, if I need to deaden something or liven it, I have the ability to through the different sizes, you know. The sound men, they're grateful for him. You know, front house guy, he's very happy every night, you know, and his, his world changes from time to time too. So, you know, no two venues are alike. You know, you play the biggest ones to the smallest ones, they're, they're all different. You have to be conscious of it, you know, including your symbols, which they work as well on. Um, he gains a lot more control of the tone of the drums as opposed to just having them wide open. You know, he doesn't have to use as big of a gate. He can open his gates a little more. Just simple things like that, that in live settings every night, in big venues like it. Um, the setup I use is a five piece kit, snare, tom, two floor toms, kick drum. I actually use two small ones on the snare drum, small one on the high tom, which is a 12 and a larger on the 14 and a larger on the 16 just to they they just take out the overtones i can literally pull my drums out every night tune them up spot tune them in a matter of five ten minutes and they are back to where they where they were the night before so you know that also they help with that as well i don't know how but they do <laughs> Let's see, I don't use them on the bottom of the snare drum. I like the liveliness of that. That need a little crack out of the bottom of the snare. So I use a 13 by seven drum, so it has a lot of crack and body to it. At 12, I have a small one on top and actually a small one on the bottom. The 14, I just use a, a larger one. And the 16, I use a larger one on top and one on bottom. It's kind of a mix match setup, but some of the drums don't need it. You know, the larger drum needs maybe a little more, so I might use a bigger one and a small one, depending on the heads as well. Right now I've been using the Emperors, clear Remo Emperors, so with the drum muffs, it just gives me complete control over the tone of the drums. I've been killing these things every day, you know, and I put them on every drum head, every drum, and they, you know, like I said, some venues, some sometimes we play outside. You know, so an outdoor venue, you have a totally different sound. Your drums sound completely different than if you play inside of a small rehearsal space. You know, so that's what I particularly love about the about the drum muffs. You know, is that you know, from day to day, venue to venue, gig to gig, I can change the tone of the drums and keep keep the tone that I'm looking for. You know, with the drum muffs, have just made life completely easy. I love the drum muffs. The monitor guy loves drum muffs. The front of house guy loves the drum muffs. The crowd loves the drum muffs. You'll love them too. All right, guys, we're gonna demonstrate some drum muffs on a ride cymbal today. And some grooves. Here we go, wide open. It's good. Oh, you don't have to press it very hard. You had mentioned uh, something about the different sounds that you get out of a cymbal. So far, we've just acquired three new sounds, you know, and that's one of the beauties of the, you know, the flexibility of the drum muffs. Not only do they use on your drums, you can use them on your cymbals. I personally also use 
line under, I use one, a bigger one underneath the hi-hats and underneath the top hi-hat to be specific. Um, it, I use some pretty thick hi-hats so it's, you know, they're a little, they're pretty chirpy but it dried them out perfectly, you know, and night after night they just continue to, to deliver. So, um, you know, drum must go get some. <laughs>